Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile. You might ask, why? Why? Because it will make you feel better. So guys, you are watching, teaching my non-Muslim friend, Muslim words. How you doing, Vish? Good, thank you. So this is my brother, my friend, dear friend, Vishal, aka Patel. But no, it's not aka really. It's Vishal Patel. Aka Patel. Yeah, aka like a different. Like, doesn't make sense. Anyway, so how you doing, bro? Yeah, good. Thanks, man. Thanks for being in the video, bro. No worries, mate. How are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thanks to the Lord, I'm fine. You know bro, obviously you've been around me for a long time as a friend and all that. And you've obviously heard me say a few words, but I want to actually teach you some of the words. I want you to say the words, and also I want you to let me know what you think they mean. Islamic words? Well, Muslim words, yeah. Okay. Islamic words. First I want to start with, Assalamu Alaikum. Can you say, Assalamu Alaikum? You want to say, yeah. Assalamu Alaikum. <laughs> Okay, cool, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, so, what, does, what do you think that means? I think it means some, it's, it's some type of greeting, I think. Yeah, that's correct. I've been around you for such a long time, and the way... You've heard me say it quite a few times. Yeah. It means peace be upon you, right? So it's yeah. like, for example, like if you, you know, obviously you wouldn't, you know, obviously you'd say, Namaste. No, 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 bro, we don't. <laughs> We say assalamu alaikum. Yeah, that's basically like you know, like um, you say hi, hello, you know, what's up? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That was a good try. That was a good. That was a good effort. Good effort. Good effort. And this one, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What do you think that means? I have no idea. So peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you. Can I ask you what do you think of this greeting? I think it's a very um, welcoming greeting. Yeah, like have you ever heard it in any other culture, religion, or anywhere else? No, no. From what I could, well, I mean, from my own culture, we just say Namaste, or you know, yeah. it's a very short greeting. Yeah. But obviously, this is a very warm, welcoming greeting. With the salam, we actually get a reward for it. Okay. So from our Lord, we yeah. actually get rewarded. It's like a good deed. It's like a ding. Oh. Um, One point in the mark, like ding. Okay. And when we say assalamu alaikum, ding. If we say assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullah, ding ding. If we get, if we say assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, that's ding ding ding. It's like a triple. Okay. Anyway, so the next one is. Um. Why is Vishal making that face? Mashallah. Can you say it? I know really this one. Okay. Why? How do you know? Where do you know it from? From a film called Four Lions. <laughs> Mashallah, brother. <laughs> That is in the film, right? That is. He goes, okay, Mashallah, brother. Can you say the word? Mashallah. Mashallah. What do you think it means? I know one story. Okay. Uh, where one brother said to me, don't ever say that to a sister. <laughs> he goes, don't ever look at a sister up and down and say, Mashallah. That do not because that will come ever, the ever way. say that. You can say it to your wife, but don't say it to anybody else. You can say it to your mother, your sister. And your wife, but don't say it to a sister on the street, bro. So going by that, I'm assuming it means something of beauty. Well, yeah. Well, basically, it well, means you're admiring beauty. Yeah. What it means is what Allah wants, He gives. You probably heard me like when I get a new pair of trainers or if I've got a new something, you hear me say, "Oh, mashallah," you know. Okay. Okay. The next one, and I think you've heard me say this a lot of times. Inshallah. Firstly, can you say it? Inshallah. What do you think it means? Hopefully. Yeah. Or oh, God willing. Yeah. Lord willing. Lord willing. Sorry. Lord, yeah, Lord willing. willing. That one. I, Lord willing. That one. I definitely know that. You know when I message you, I'm like, alright, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Inshallah. In brackets, right? Lord willing. Mm. See, they're all very prosperous. Um, what's the word? They all have prosperous meaning to it. Is that your favourite word? Prosperous. No, but it's just the way I'm trying to. Describe. Is there no other word you can use? No, sorry. Sorry. Well, why are you being sorry for? What's the next one, bro? <laughs> Okay, the next one is Subhanallah. Can you say that firstly? Subhanallah. Yeah, that's cool. What really, do you think am I saying it right then? No, it's a Subhanallah. But obviously you wouldn't be able to say it right because mm. it's foreign to you. You know, it's, it's Arabic, it's foreign, so obviously not. Can you say it again? Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah, that's cool. What do you think it means? Greatness to God. Actually, quite close, bro. Glory to Allah. Okay. That's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Glory to Allah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Glory to Allah. But actually, 
there is another word that actually means what you just said there. Can you say Allahu Akbar? Am I allowed to say that? Why not? It's the media perception, right? <laughs> it's got nothing to do with media perception. No, why can't you say oh, so, Allahu Akbar? Okay, so that, I know that what that Can means. Can you say Allahu Akbar? You want to say? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Allah Akbar. Yeah. That's cool. It's mad what the media has done to that word. You see the way the media have twisted these words. Yeah. Trying to make them out to be something. Yeah, like when you like, yeah, like for example, when you hear it, like, oh, how do you know he was a Muslim? He said Allah. Akbar. And someone who has no idea what that means will take that as face value from the media. And yeah, of course. Okay, so and also, when we start praying, when we start praying our five times a day, mm -hmm. before we start, we have to say Allah. Akbar. Now imagine if you're walking past me on the street and I'm just praying and I go Allah. Akbar. But you be like. Yeah, because for, for the individual out there who doesn't understand, they're going to assume that that means something. Yeah, and to be very honest with you, anybody who uses that word to kill people is, is sadistic and mad. Mm -hmm. Because the word itself is profound and beautiful. What do you think it means, by the way? I think that word particularly means glory to God. Or God is the greatest. Yeah, completely right. Is Allah is the greatest. And obviously, makes sense now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Why we would start the call to prayer with that. With, Why yeah. we start it before we start praying our, our five daily prayers. We always start, you know... Always Allahu Akbar, like you know, Allah is the greatest. Very uplifting. Very, very important word. Very important word in our religion. Very important. One of the most important, you know, in my opinion. Because it's saying Allah is the greatest. And, you know, as a Muslim, I believe that my God is the greatest. Yeah, no, it's a very uplifting way to praise your Lord anyway. Yeah, so. yeah it's like it's beautiful. Okay, so the next word. Ahi. What? Ahi. Can you say that again? Ahi. It's not a pirate's word, bro. Pirate, you know. Yeah. What do you think it means? Aki means, when I first heard the word Aki, I thought it was some type of cutlery, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what like type of cutlery? special fork or something. <laughs> Why a special fork? I don't know, that you eat your food with. Is that genuinely what you think it means? No, no, obviously not now, but when I first heard the word, I thought it was some type of like household cutlery or household item. Okay, so what does it mean then? I know, like from being a... That word being thrown out, it means uh, brother or something? Or I think another yeah, my friend. The next one. Ukhti. Ukhti. What do you think that means? This is, this word is something to do, well, I think it's something that belongs in the kitchen. Ukhti. Am I right? No, what do you really think it means? Or, or actually, is that what you think it means? Ukhti. I actually don't know what it means. I'm just assuming it means something that belongs in the kitchen. Oh okay, so basically, Ukhti means my sister. So you oh. have just said something really sexist. <laughs> Whoops. Well done, fish pat. You have upset so many sisters out there. Ukhti, right? Yeah, Ukhti, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. It means my yeah, sister, ukti. yeah. So it's the Uk. What? Because Uk, no, no, Aki is A H K I and Uk is yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apologize to the sisters, bro. I do, I'm sorry. So the final one, bro, is this is a really important one, right? And I, and I obviously, you know, we, we get you to say these words. Okay, so I'm gonna break it up for you because it's quite difficult, like all in one. So if you can say la, don't try, bro. Why? Because I know what this is all about. What am I doing? How no, do you know? Uh, this has happened to me so many times, I know where you're going with this. No, just say la. No. Why can't you say la? No, don't try it. Why can't you just say la? Just Bro. say la? Just one of it, just one. No. Just for the family. No, I know what you're trying to do. Don't try and do this on camera. Just la? Say la ilaha? No. I know that. You know what? No. No. Okay, what do you think that means? La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. I don't know, people keep asking me to say this. <laughs> That's what I know. Well, you're telling me that Muslims come up to you on the street and go, can you say la ilaha illallah? Yeah, especially Allah. when I hang around with you. Nail that guy, dude. I mean, what does it mean? It's the same that you say when you before you turn into a Muslim. It's one of actually the pillars of Islam. It's um, testifying that you believe that there is no God but Allah. And Muhammad, mm -hmm. peace be upon him, is his final message. So the all Muslims have to say that. 
Yeah, well, that's the belief. That's 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 what you have to believe. That's one of the pillars of Islam out of the five. No, but they have to, they have to say that saying. Because I thought it was only reverts that have to say that. Well, obviously, if you're non-Muslim and you come to the religion, mm -hmm. you say that, mm -hmm. right? To testify that you believe in this religion and you believe in the main tenant of this deen, which is there is no God but Allah and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his final messenger. Mm -hmm. And that is what people say. Even to be very honest with you, I say it every morning. Okay, all right. Because I just say it because for me it's very, very important for me. On that note, because that's one of the one of the pillars of Islam, right? Do you know any of the pillars of Islam apart from that? So there's five, right? Go for it. The second one is... So what's the first one? La... I'm not going to say it. Right, we'll just discuss this. Don't okay, try anyway. it. Don't try okay. it. The second one is uh, Hajj. Okay, yeah, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Well done. The third one is Zakat. Well done. Well done. The fourth one. Do you know what Zakat is? Zakat is when you give 2.5% of your of your um, annual salary to the charity. Yeah, your wealth. Your wealth. Your salary. savings. The fourth one is Ramadan. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? No, because I'm. I, I know what it means. Okay. I know this. I don't know what the fifth one is. Wait, wait, the fifth one is... Um, salah. Yeah, praying five times praying a day. five times a day. How did you find this out? I know this, Aki. No, but how? How? I, I've been around you guys for a long, long time. Okay, so, thank you very much, Vishal Patel. Family. Um, don't forget to say Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, Assalamu Alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family, just like Vishal is, smile, you might ask why, why, because it will make you feel better, la, don't, la, don't do this bro, don't do this, should we do it in English, no, there is, no, And we are uh, trying to get some nice little clothes for the baby. But Habibi likes this one. <laughs> How cute is that? It's gonna be a boy on a man. So you can get daddy a matching one. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, sorry son, I, I wouldn't wear that.